This segment is sponsored by Martin Supermarkets. Fall football season is here, and that means it's time to tailgate. Woo! Chef Brittany from Martin Supermarkets is showing us how to make some easy tailgating snacks. Mm. Take a look. Well, we are in the Martin's Test Kitchen with Chef yes. Brittany, and we're tailgate talking we today. Are. What do you got for me? So one of my favorites is a Cajun like dip. It's hot, it's cheesy, it's spicy. Kind of like me. Hot and exactly. cheesy. Exactly. <laughs> so I took some of the Eckridge sausage, a little bit oh. of celery, um, red pepper, onion, garlic, and kind of sauteed this All up. All good things, right? Bacon, because oh, you gotta well, have bacon. So that I kind of already cooked down just so those veggies get a little bit soft. You want them to have a little bit of a crunch, but not too much. Sure. And then I have some shrimp here because it can't be Cajun without a little bit of shrimp. Good idea. Yes. And then kind of your dip components then. We have some cream cheese. This is about half of a block. And then mayonnaise. Gotta love that. Everything's better with a little bit of mayonnaise. That's so true. <laughs> And then I put a little bit of Worcestershire and lemon juice, just a little squeeze in there just to kind of do that. So once that kind of gets all melty and ooey and gooey, you want to pop it in the oven. You could also do this in a crock pot. So you so can it makes just- it real easy for tailgate. Yeah, just yeah. pick it up, take it to your tailgate, drop it down. I always serve mine with celery and some Ritz crackers. You can't go wrong with Ritz. Oh, that looks so good. Okay, so it's cheesy yes, and it's it sausagey. Are we and all putting that? a little bit of this a on top? A little bit of parsley on top mm, just, just to decorate to... it. Oh, I'm the decorator, mm. decorator there. That's good. So again, an easy go-to recipe, and with Eckridge sausage being on it, sale, it's the best, and it's, it's on sale. Good. It I is love on that. sale. On sale and the best. You can't beat it. No. Okay, so that's. Okay. One down. One down. Okay, two to go. Okay, so this is kind of like inspired by my family. So we're really big on like anytime we go to a sandwich place, we're gonna get something Italian. I mean, okay, I love that. it's just our favorite. Yeah. So that mixture of salami, ham, provolone, red onions. I threw some banana peppers in there, some roasted red peppers. So anything that your little heart desires when it comes to like that Italian flavors. Mm. You know what I love most about you? Is that you didn't make me chop any of that up. You're welcome. <laughs> That's awesome. Just for you. Thank you. Will you come uh, to everybody else's house to do? Sure. <laughs> don't be a girl. Don't be making promises. <laughs> okay. So what do we? What do we? Okay. So a little in red pepper flakes, garlic oh, yeah. powder, Italian seasoning, and then I just use olive oil. So oh, you could use okay. um, Italian dressing if you have that at home uh -huh. to mix that as your binder. If you wanted to do it as a creamy dip, you could also do like you know sour cream or something. It's all kind of up to you. But mayonnaise. anything it's up, man. <laughs> Everything's better with mayonnaise. mayonnaise. <laughs> So anything like that, that has that Italian flavor to it, um, I kind of just put in there and then serve it with the bread. So if you want to put the olive oil in there, Ooh, and okay. then you can toss all of those goodies together. You're trusting me to do this? I am. Oh I, think you, I think now, you got there it. Isn't, that isn't that much nope. olive oil, so it's gonna, is it? Well, and I have the juice a... from the banana peppers in oh, there, and then the okay. roasted red peppers have juice, and the red onion lets go some juice, so that'll so, all kind of mix oh, together. Yeah. Now, and this is a great thing, because you could make it ahead and put it in in the fridge and yep. pull it out right before the tailgating. I do like to do it a couple hours beforehand just so all those flavors, all those flavors marinate yes. together. Mm. Yep. Yeah, so it's, yeah, totally. Did you know that I'm a master in the kitchen, Brittany? I did not, but I'm well, learning you do today. Now, girl, that's right. Okay. No, this looks fantastic, and I just love those little bruschetta breads. Mm. Those are so mm. great. And then we just kind of put it right in yeah. there, right? Mm. And we'll just, okay. Maybe I'm not a master in the chef this way, kitchen this way. But. Oh, that looks so nice, right? Good so color. Delicious. Yeah. Mm. And then you can serve it on that little bread, and yeah. that that makes for a great, great yep. little snack. You can do it with chips, you can do it with okay. anything, but. Two down, two one down. to go. Okay, who doesn't like guacamole? I, I don't know anybody who doesn't. I don't either. And especially when you have chips and salsa to pair with it, mm -hmm. you need guacamole. No brainer. So, and who doesn't love bacon? <laughs> You're talking all my languages. So, I kind of took guacamole and put a little bit of a twist. So, I have um, the peppers and the dobo. Okay. So, if you want to throw those. In this? Yep. Oh, she's letting me work again, folks. I am. Okay. So, okay. these are going to give you that little bit of smoky, a little bit of heat. And if you don't like it super spicy, don't put a lot. If you sure. want a little bit spicy, do a little bit more. Well, go bigger, go home. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then red onion diced. Red onion, okay. 
I don't love red onion, but I know that a lot of people do. Yes. And then, <laughs> of course, bacon. Yeah, so... we're gonna have all of that in there. All of it. <laughs> you gotta have bacon. Do you bacon. have more? <laughs> I think they'll be plenty. And then some fresh cilantro. I know, and some people really, now this does divide people down the it middle, does. doesn't it? And I really like. I love cilantro. Love cilantro. And love especially it. those places where you go and they bring that little cart to the table yeah. and do that. I was asked for good. extra. But yeah. then, of course, if I'm with people that don't like it, but then, you know. Then you yeah. just get it all. All of it. I know, right? Awesome. And then do we stir it before we put the lime juice in? So you want to squeeze a little bit of lime, and that is going to help keep your avocados nice and green and fresh and all of that. By it, and also adding some flavor. Yeah. I love that. Okay. And I would do like two of those. Okay. Oh. My hands are gonna smell great <laughs> the rest of the day. So you know what, Brittany, as we're as I'm mastering the guacamole here, let's talk about 74 years. 74. You're celebrating yes. here at Martin. 74 years, October 3rd through the 31st. Yep. And you've got a kind of a thing to help people celebrate you. What yeah, is that? So any of the items that are on sale that week. So we have like the Garden Fresh Chips and Salsa, Eckridge, Belgi Belgilioso. All of those items, when you spend $10, you get entered to win two tickets to the national football game at, at the Colts Stadium, I believe. Oh, um, yeah, it's right in Indianapolis. Yeah. So it's kind of, you know, if you win, that's a, a day trip. So it that's is. really great for folks. And you win, like, some spending money and all kinds Pretty. of stuff. We should go. We should. Are you eligible to win? I think that our job should send us. I, mean, I love the way you think. I do too. I'm telling you. And we could take these little tailgating we snacks could. with us. We, we would be the bell of the ball. Our tailgate there. Oh my gosh. I, like I love it. I think you know what? We're in we're gonna get in trouble, <laughs> you and me. Oh, this is like I love a, a guacamole that's a little chunky, mm -hmm, right? And so definitely. that is what that is. And the Jack's salsa is my favorite. Oh my, it's so good. It's so good, it's right? So good. And then you've got these garden fresh gourmet chips to yeah. go with it. Brittany, mm. I think you and I have made some serious headway here now in the kitchen to today. Eat. Now it's time to eat, but you know what? We're gonna do that alone. So <laughs> check out Martin's website for all the details. Make sure to get that Eckridge sausage and all the great things that you saw here today. And we'll see you later. You can find all those great yummy things at Martin's Supermarkets. Go to martinsupermarkets.com, find them on Facebook, pick, them, pick up the phone and call them at 574-239-1800 or just get in the car and go browse the many yummy things mm. available at the Martin Supermarket. Yeah. I love that. That was super fun. Chef Brittany and I are like this now. That was some good, some good eating. It was. Come